Hey, this is Dan coming to you with a video about the Comma 3 from Comma.ai. Uh, this is a driver assist device that takes over the steering capabilities of your vehicle and on some vehicles it also controls the radar cruise control or the smart cruise, whatever they call it. Um, I've had this device for maybe two weeks now, but it's only been working for about a week because the first, there was an issue. They sent me the wrong harness and uh, it took a while to figure out on both ends, mine and theirs, what was wrong with the harness. They sent a Hyundai 2 harness, which is what the website said would be compatible, but um, after looking at the schematics they sent me, the, the wiring harness is... All the wiring looks correct, but it's something to do with this little piece right here. If you pull down the shrink wrap, you can see it's an OB, or it's a number one now, or a number two, I can't remember. I'm... I'll tell you, I'm driving a 2021 Kia Forte GT. I bought this car brand new about a year ago. Um, I've already put 25,000 miles on it of me driving it. Uh, it's got the GT2 package. Um, and as far as I'm aware, I haven't There's seen... five minute slowdown in 0.25 miles. You are still on the best route. And as far as I'm aware, nobody's done a video yet on the Kia Forte GT or GT2. So I thought I would be the first, maybe the first, I don't know. But... Um, now that it's working, it's working great. We're actually taking a road trip today. We're driving up the coast from San Diego or we're driving up north a couple hundred miles to the central coast. Um, and I thought I would make a video showing the capabilities of this. Uh, this vehicle is listed as their mid-tier on the comma site. It's in the silver group. I guess the gold group, everything works meaning the, the adaptive cruise and the steering, but in the silver group, only the steering, con the, the comma controls the steering, but not the smart cruise. The, the smart cruise is still relying on Kia's factory system, which works pretty well, I think. But if you look, you can see the steering wheel, it's, it's making minor adjustments by itself, and you can see that there's traffic ahead. not doing anything with the pedals down here, not doing anything with my hands, I just, um, I have my face forward watching traffic the whole time. So I, I put maybe 300 miles on, on open pilot in the last week since I got it, just experimenting driving to work and back, and I commute about 120 miles every day, and the majority of my commute is on major freeways and it's been working fantastically well the one there's one thing that they list on the site that it they say it, that it'll slow the car down to zero and then start back up again like stop and go but that's not true and the stock system doesn't do that so I think it's just a mistake on Kama's website uh, the steering works all the way down until the you're gonna see now until the cruise kicks off It'll kick off at about five miles an hour, and then this, the steering is still working. You can see the steering wheel is still working at between 10 and 15 miles an hour, under 10 miles an hour. Uh, but when it kicks off, every your manual below five miles an hour. One thing to note is that the car's stock system, the lane keep assist, doesn't work until it hits 40 miles an hour, but with 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 the Comma 3, it now works all the way down to five miles an hour, so that's a real big plus. It's really nice. Um, I hope in the future that Comma is able to add integration for both the uh, visual stop and go, or visual adaptive cruise control. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave questions, comments below. I'd love to hear. Um, I was really excited that this works with my Kia Forte GT. I love the car. It's a really comfortable car. It's great for commuting here in California. Prior to this, I had a 
2014 uh, Ford Fiesta ST with a six-speed manual and as much as I love that car I put like 140,000 miles on it out here in six years just commuting back and forth to work but I'll tell you shifting gears in, in, in Southern California traffic is no fun and this makes my commute so much better, so much easier, and I, I don't feel really as like fatigued as as I would after like stop and go driving in the manual transmission. This is my first automatic car I've ever had since I was what 16. So here you're gonna see it kick off. Oh, it might kick off now. There it kicks off. So I have to brake the car now. <laughs> but now I start. I just press the accelerator and hit resume. It takes back over. So we're going about six miles an hour. Um, and I still have control over the, the distance select on the Smart Cruise Control. So you have like one, two, three, four different options for following lanes. Uh, I don't know. I've driven, I've driven Teslas. Um, I've driven the the Model Y quite a bit, and I love it, and I love autopilot. I think I think this system is comparable, if not even a little better for me, just because you can take your hands off the wheel for just the stock autopilot system versus open pilot. Um, yeah, it's very impressive, uh, so I look forward to seeing how this goes because you can see here we have about 200 miles to drive and yeah, we've been driving all the way for about 30 minutes so far all right well i think i've yapped enough so yeah let me know what you think um if you want to know anything about it just ask and i'll try and make a new video all right cool thank you thanks for watching like and subscribe thank you bye